Good morning from a very gloomy day here in Spokane, Washington. Yesterday was the very last nice day that we had before winter hits. Beside all that, today we are getting started on bodywork on the Civic Type R. We have made so much progress on this build. We did not work on it at all yesterday. I was helping my dad all day. He's building a new house, so I was up there helping him out. But this is where we're at. Thankfully, I did find a new transmission. There's another YouTuber, Condor Builds, that had a wreck 2021 Type R, and the trainee was good in that car for the most part. It does need a little bit of repair, but it's much, much better and much more usable than our trans. I know some of you guys were saying, why don't you just replace the transmission case? That was the initial plan when I pulled the tranny out of the car. You can get the transmission case itself, which is the outer case here. You can get that straight from the dealer because ours is broken, as you guys can see. But the inner case, they call it the clutch case. That thing is out of stock with no ETA. So that means it could be a month, it could be five months, it could be a year before that thing ever came in. So I decided it's better just to get a, get a complete trans for the car so we're not held up. One more thing I wanna show you guys real quick. Just a little tidbit of information that I found out last time I did a wreck rebuild on Bobby's car. I am saving all of the parts that we're pulling off the car just because there's always little tiny things that you need here and there. For example, we may need that bolt right there off the bumper beam, or we may need that cap if we order a new reservoir and the cap isn't on there, just stuff like this. So I'm not throwing any of this stuff away until that car's complete. And if we're gonna do a rectory rebuild, I would recommend doing the same. You know what? Before we get started with that, I do need to pull the seat belts and the airbag module and send them in for repair. There's a company called Safety Restore. They helped us out with Bobby's STI build when we did that car. I hit them up yesterday and they can get ours knocked out on the Type R very, very quickly. So let's go ahead and pull both front seat belts out and the airbag module out and send them in for a restore. So the airbag module is usually somewhere underneath here. I have to pull all this out anyway because when those homeless people broke in and stole the radio out of this car, they snapped all of this as well. So let's just go ahead and rip all this out and it should be hopefully directly underneath the center console. Parts are on the way to safety restore. Now check this out. When they jacked the radio, they also destroyed the whole entire center console. I thought maybe this piece would unbolt, but it does not. It's a whole freaking console that we have to replace. And a couple other little things as well. Hazard switch was ripped out, and then all the mounting tabs on this piece right here also destroyed. Very frustrating on top of all the cut wiring. All right, moving right along to some body work. So of course the main things that we need to get situated is this massive damage on the quarter panel and this very, very severe damage on this pillar here. I'm gonna tackle the quarter panel as best as I can. I am very new to this kind of body work. I can like sand and paint, but stuff like this, it's a little out of my comfort zone, but I'm gonna give her hell. So what we're gonna do, pull a tail light out, pull the interior apart in the trunk so we can get to the back side of that hopefully and then i'm gonna try to push it out as best as i can we can always get a stud gun and put the little studs on there and pull it out that way but i'm gonna try my best to go from the back just because i do not have a stud gun here so i'm gonna tackle that myself i'm definitely gonna want some help on this because i don't want to replace that i don't want to replace the quarter panel either but i think i can get that handled
we made a little bit of progress. Not too much, but a little bit. I'm gonna go on the computer, go on YouTube, and watch other people pull dents. Like I said, I'm new to this, so I'm trying to figure it out as I go along. I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight, and I'm gonna buy a tool that should help a lot. I've seen my dad use this in the past. I know he has one, but I think it's probably time that I should probably just buy one. So let's make a quick trip and pick up a dent puller. So this is what we just picked up. What is that thing? A stud gun. Whoa. <laughs> Bless. Here you go real quick. Ew, that thing looks hideous with the trunk open. Looks like a stock sieve. <clears throat> I see you came here to help me film. Okay, so. Bobby, I got this dent pulled out a little bit from the inside. It's pretty fucked up still. Um, what we're gonna do, let me preface this by saying I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never used one of these before. I don't know what I'm doing. If I mess this up, cool. I'll cry about it and then replace the whole quarter panel. But I'm gonna figure it out. This is a real time of me literally not knowing what to do and figuring it out as we go. All I know is that I gotta pull the paint off. So I'm gonna grind the paint off. I think this thing, you know, you just like put the stud in there, you hit the button. Where's the button? Circuit breaker, no. Um, zzz, that'll weld a stud onto the quarter panel. Based off the limited research I do, you put this onto the stud, you go bam, 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 and you pull the dent out. Damn. I don't know. Easy enough. Is this what your dad uses at his shop? Is a Harbor Freight special? No. And here's also the thing. You're probably wondering, why don't you just call Bob or call someone that knows what they're doing? I like to figure things out. I'm stubborn. I'm sure Bob could get that dent fixed in 10 minutes. It's going to take me 10 hours, but I don't even care. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at all. some shit. I don't know if I'm doing it right. You're ripping it. You're making it worse. This. What? Well, yeah. This. Uh, so, like I said, Are you, you should have pushed it from outside. There's no access. As, at all? I know. That's why I told you the plate probably would be better because still paint needs to be welded. But after I'm going to weld the plate, it's going to start ripping the uh, skin. No, it's it's fine. No, hey, that's how that's how you learn. That's how you learn. See, it leaves a big bob uh, bumps. That's why I don't like the stuff done. So Val just came over. 
Told me I'm an idiot and doing everything wrong. Oh, you're not. You're not doing wrong. You just... I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Yes. He's going to show me what to do here real quick. So, basically, now in order to get this, we'll weld the plate. Like on the inside jam? Yes. Okay. So, we're going to put the plate inside here mm -hmm. and weld it. Uh, outside uh -huh. since we don't have this curve already so we're basically going to be making our curve from the welds after we're going to cut out but that also see you have it's like so a, it's so pushed in inch, maybe three eighths in yeah and after the plate going to be welded here pulled out the rest of it is going to be just hammering tapping hammering on my bumps I just made <laughs> <laughs> I figured it, I'd try it, it it's better than you tried than some of the guys like ah uh, yeah I want it I'm no. I'm more than willing to try even if I mess it up we'll figure it out one day no you didn't mess it up see uh, you did everything good here but in I would say uh, not in the proper order yeah that makes sense so I should have pulled out like the the jam first like uh, the main dent first. Uh, I mean, this would have hole too. You you pull this basically uh, where the mark. As I remember, it was caved in over here. It was all the way up to this edge here, the main so, dent. This so you basically uh, would have to heat it up mm -hmm. if you have access from there. It's like sometimes I would find some kind of rod or something that I can jam in there. But. Hey, there's uh, tons of different ways. There's no right way or wrong way when you're especially doing right next stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are no longer going to be using the stud gun. We went and picked up a deluxe dent puller. Is this the way Fancy to Fancy stuff. <laughs> yeah. This is the way to go, apparently? I guess. All right. Yeah, what do you mean, you guess? You know all about it. I was hoping it. for it. <laughs> yeah. So I have no idea how this thing works. Val's going to... Same, same thing as a stud puller. Okay. This is the tip welds to it, and this slides. Okay. So basically, whatever you had, this is one and two. No, mm. two and one. Mm -hmm. Where you had to drill it, oh, I mean weld it, then pull it. Yeah. This one do Does it all at once. Okay. Cool. Well, let's get let's let's get her fixed up. <laughs> Ready to pull? Uh, yes, we need to clamp it down, clamp. Clamp it down. All right, so. here's the magic. Car is going to go back on the frame rack. It's going to be a lot easier to pull the quarter and the pillar. See how it's moving? Mm -hmm. See, there's so much pressure over here now. 
Yeah. When you're moving, you can see it's moving here. Where's your, this is the fancy? Yep. Set, right? Not very fancy, Harbor Freight Special. I call it fancy. This is, what is it? How you read this? Modex? Yep. Back in the day, in 2008, I bought Harbor Freight. It was, that one was. <laughs> that was the special? Yeah. So basically, when that happened, uh, the metal need to uh, go somewhere. So all that metal went over here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to restore this line, mm -hmm. bring this back and put this down in. You can uh, by, uh, go with the right hand or left hand. You can feel it that's bump over here. It's you all going up. Smooth and going up. Yeah. So that means this needs to go down. If you feel it over here, uh, if you feel it here, you can feel it that here it's smoothly, mm -hmm. and when you feel it here, you can feel that's a bump over the high spot. Yes. Yeah. Good right here. Only thing I don't like is here. The rest of it is good. We, or I guess Vel, has made insane amounts of progress and the quarter panel, quarter panel is now ready for just a touch of filler and we do have to weld in a few holes that I created earlier with the Harbor Freight stud gun. Here's how the quarter panel is looking though. It is super, super straight. It is crazy the amount of knowledge that dude has. I'm very thankful he's able to come through and help me out with this. And he actually says that the A pillar should be easier than this massive damage we had on the quarter panel. All right guys, it's the next morning. We are waiting on Val to show up so we can tackle the A pillar. In the meantime, I'm gonna start going through and sanding all the other panels, getting them ready for paint. So everything's gonna be just sanded down with 600. All of the replacement panels that we got because they don't need any body work. So let's go get all that scuffed up and ready to go. So I got the majority of the side sanded down. Now we're gonna go ahead and tackle that pillar. Is it gonna be hard or easy? I don't know, I'm hoping for easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like working hard. Yeah. <laughs> 
That looks pretty difficult to me, but we'll see what we can figure out. Oh, I think this is going to be more solid, huh? Yeah, that's pretty solid. Do both. That's going to be way better. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, so we're all done pulling dents, right? So, well, I just called you Cell. Now fill some holes with the weld, and then body fill it. More on this quarter panel. It needs a little bit more love? Yeah, we have a low spot here, and uh, I think over here is pretty nice. I would just pull this low spot, and we need to figure it out. What's going on over here? Remember, it's either a low spot or a high spot here, but I believe it's a low spot here. You think it's a low spot? It feels like a high, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if you move in your hand over here, you don't feel that. It's I can feel it with the hand, but remember after even applying rocks and greaser, rocks and greaser, and you can't see. It looks perfect. Yeah, yeah but. All right, we're all done filling the holes with the welder. And now, it's party time. Everything looks good. Yes. We need to apply, over here I wanna apply fiberglass uh, body filler. Just A little to, bit stronger. Yeah. yeah. And see, probably some spots in here too. Mm. Uh, actually, no, just a body filler. This one, I don't like. I think it's still kind of low here and I don't like uh, a lot of body filler. I don't trust in the body filler. So fiberglass, it's a lot stronger and also we can't pull this no more because it's going to start uh, tearing the metal. Yeah. So unfortunately we're going to have to go that route but it's literally a couple, this, this, couple this. mil. So we have the filler laid down and it's all cured up, dried up, ready to go. Unfortunately, I don't have sandpaper and I need to go home and edit this video. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Val, thank you brother for all the help. You're welcome. This right here, would, this would have taken me six months to do yeah. myself. Yeah, you did right. it in about six minutes. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you, man. Hey, no problem. Thank Always you. glad to help. I'll have a channel link down below if you guys want to see how a actual <laughs> yeah. true magician is at work. <laughs> magician. But 
your videos constant in my net, sorry. <laughs> I have a life, I have family, I have business, so yeah. I do everything that I can to post the videos. Yeah. It's understandable. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, I'll see you guys tomorrow.